Some mothers may misuse substances, that is alcohol and or drugs, both during pregnancy and in the months and years after birth. Social deprivation is also linked to the percentage of women who smoke, both during pregnancy and at home with their children present. Maternal smoking and substance misuse can have a negative impact on the development of young children and thus interventions may be necessary to counteract these effects. A sympathetic and suitably trained home visitor may, in the months after birth, be able to encourage the mother to engage with drug treatment services. However, despite this, there is no clear evidence that such engagement improves the outcome for either the mother or the infant. We don't really know why this is the case. Perhaps substance misuse is such a complex issue that it cannot be ameliorated by a single intervention. Smoking during pregnancy inhibits development in the womb and can result in babies of lower than average birth weight. In addition, children exposed to smoke in their early years have an increased risk of developing health problems later in life. The provision of home visits and social support aimed at reducing the stress of pregnant women can have a positive effect, initially reducing the consumption of cigarettes, with the ideal being for the woman to cease smoking during her pregnancy. After the birth, interventions delivered in the home by nurses or other health practitioners as part of the general aim of improving the mother's health and well-being may reduce maternal smoking and children's exposure to tobacco. Once again, this advice is most effective when delivered face-to-face. -face. Written information on its own is easily ignored. <laughs>